Let's just go in. Sorry, friend, but you've got a date down under. Raymond says, I don't care who you are. No one's to enter Tezak's tent under penalty of death. Come at me, for I have no intention of turning back. You're dead, little worms. Pow. All right, this wizard... I care not. ...is going to have to have Imowen keep hitting him with magic missiles. What is your command? Branwyn is going to use a whole person on this guy. Let's talk more fight. Minsk is going to go on the wizard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go shoot arrows at the wizard. You have need of me? At the wizard. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. And Jihira will swing at this guy. For the fun! <laughs> All right, Imwin magic missile. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Imwin's gonna do another magic missile to try and break his spell. Hello. Now, Branwyn is going to cast. Uh. Command on this guy. What? <laughs> uh, yes. Khalid is going to use his sword on this guy. Oh, my heart's really not in this. By Ranwin shield on the wizard. Emwin another magic missile on the wizard. And the wizard is down. Yep. Now Emwin Ghoul Touch. What is your command? Branwyn mad um bullet at him. What is it? I'll shoot my arrow at him. We'll see if we can take that guy out. Who wants some? <laughs> Now, Emwyn will try to touch this guy. You've a task? She will go after him. Can I help you? He will go after him. You cold? I will shoot him with the bow. Hello? Branwyn will just shoot bullets at him. You point, I punch. Minsk will shoot him with the bow. Everybody servant awaits on this guy. And that finishes the tough battle. I'll do my best.
Composite longbow goes to Minsk. Oh, that's a magical longbow. Minsk, well, we'll give that to... Let's give that to Khalid. We'll have it identified later. Hey okay, now. Do you want something? I will detect An autograph, traps. perhaps. Indeed. Let's talk more fight. Full plate and packing steel. Yes. Oh, fine. Trap disarmed. Cool one, sir. Full plate and packing steel. Potion of magic blocking. That will go in the potion bag. Of course. Um, these letters will trigger something. Mullahay and Tezak have proven to be nothing more than puppets. The true master of this unfolding mystery continues to elude you. One thing is certain. Someone has taken a very personal interest in seeking your death. Though why, you are not sure. Your search for answers continues, and the foreboding Cloakwood Forest is your next target. So the Cloakwood Forest will be accessible now. That'll be a little, uh, this was actually not as difficult. And you can see my levels. Um, I am on core rules, so I did not make it easy at all. I left oh, it. Hello, indeed. At the regular level. Okay, stinking cloud is second levels, and so Imwin will soon be able to do that. Tezak, I have noticed that your shipments of iron have slowed of late. It's imperative that we receive another ton of ore. Step up your raids and get a shipment to our base in Cloakwood within the next week. We need to stockpile as much ore as possible before our ultimatum is given. Also, Saravak wants to know what has happened with the band of mercenaries. Have they been killed? You had better ensure that they've been as Saravak will not take kindly to any other news. Dave Yorn. Saravak is an important name, and Dave Yorn is the one at the mines. Tezak, I hope that everything moves along smoothly. I have written to give you instructions from our superiors. I have been told that a small band of mercenaries might cause the Iron Throne some trouble in the future. You are to ensure that they don't live to upset our operations. Obtain the services of Assassin Nimble. He should serve you well. Dave Yorn. Okay, now let's talk to um, Ender Sai. You've a task? As you direct. Troubled times are upon us. It's time then, is it? She says, time for what? Explain yourself. My execution, what do you think? You're not with him, are you, though? No, I'd smell his rancid breath on you if you were. You're right, we're not Tezak's lackeys. lackeys. What's going on here? Ender sigh. I, you're not. Well, this whole place is dirty to the core. That's what's going on. These aren't your ordinary bandits. They're part black talons and part chill. Chill being a demi-human band, mostly hobgoblins, and led by that creepy smart one, Ardner Crush. There be others elsewhere like that priest Mullahay sent to poison the mines of Nashville. 
set himself up as a kobold god, returned, and legions of the brainless barking fools believed him, ready to do his bidding till death do they part. Mullahay's dead. He was working for Tezak, I understand. Question is, who's Tezak working for? Ender Sai says, that's the trick, see? Crush and Torgaz, Kosan, leader of the Black Talons, both think he's getting orders from the Zens. And Tezak doesn't do much to discourage that particular line of thinking. But the Black Talons and Chill are bandit groups, see? They ply the trade routes, avoid the cities, and that's where they go wrong. I'm from the gate, and I can tell you dead as leather that the Zentarum aren't behind this. How can you be so sure? Ender sighed, a desire for silence isn't the only reason I wear soft sole boots. I wear them so I can tell whose toes I'm treading on. I didn't mess with no Zentarum. I picked my enemies, and I messed with one group and one group only. The Iron Throne. And right as rain, here I am as Tezak's personal prisoner. You do the math. All right, the Iron Throne, where can I find them? Tezak, under size says, Tezak's been making regular visits to the Cloakwood. So that's where I'd start if I were you. There are some documents in the chest that might be worth taking a look at too. Now go step on some toes, all right? And you can tell them Ender Sai sent you. All right, I already got the documents. In fact, if you look at the map, the world map, um, Cloak, the Cloakwood is over here. We'll head west and we should be able to find Cloakwood, the next step in this. After Cloakwood, we should have access to Baldur's Gate. Okay, thank you for watching. We will pick up from here in the next episode.